This is a short video to explain the new uh, architecture that BBO has put up, uh, splitting the platform. Uh, this is a good thing for BBO to do. They've uh, trying to look into scale the platform, and this is the easiest way they've found to do it. But hopefully I'll be able to explain some of the nuances and side effects that you'll see uh, if you haven't read the news or didn't understand all the nuances that are there. So I've logged into BBO. Uh, you can see on the news there's an explanation of the new architecture. It mainly affects you if you play casually at your own table with friends or, or with random opponents. Uh, when you click on the casual button, you will go to a new part of BBO from which you cannot see the main part. And we'll demonstrate that by looking at my friends who are online at the moment. So I've got 24 friends online. Uh, some are playing, some are just looking around. So when I go to the casual section, you'll see now that this has changed. I now have two friends who are online. I cannot see or chat directly to anybody who is back on the non-casual platform or the original BBO platform. So let me start a table. Um, I'll require permission to play. And so people don't annoy me while I'm making this video, I'll make it invisible. So I'll start a game. Now, you may have noticed when I originally logged in, one of my friends, my alter ego, Paul G1, he was there and maybe I want to invite him to play with me. So I'll ask him to sit. Oh, I've sat there. So let me invite him to sit north. So I'll re reserve the seat for Paul G1. And when I say OK, it says he's not logged in or he's not available. But we know he is logged in. And if I gave him a telephone call, he'd say, yep, I'm there. But he's not there. I can't see him because I'm on the casual side of the site, whereas he's on the main original site. So what Paul G1 needs to do is to join the casual club. So let's go back here. We'll leave the table. We'll go back from starting the table. We're still on the casual server at this point, as we can see from my short friends lists. But if I go back to the main section, now I can see all my original friends. Paul G1 is online, not doing anything. And what he needs to do, and everybody who wants to play with me, is click into the casual area. Now, if I send Paul G1 a private message, so we'll set his name up and now say, please click casual. Because I'm on the casual side of the screen of the site, I get mail delivered. So I've sent him mail, but I've not sent him a message he will see immediately. So he will not see this because he's on the other side of the BBO platform. And maintaining this almost schizophrenic environment is causing people a little bit of a problem but it's really a matter of just getting your mind around are you on the casual side or are you on the original competitive side of BBO. Everything that is underneath this casual button is on the casual side of the site. So the main bridge club tables, relaxed bridge club tables, uh, we can see there Loads of tables wanting players. All the public and private clubs, like the Akol Club. Uh, what is not on the casual side are bidding tables, teaching tables, the bridge master, and perhaps more importantly, tournaments are on the competitive side, not the casual side, and the same for team matches. So if you want to play in a tournament or you want to be invited to play in a team match, you should not be on the casual side. You should not be on uh, at a table, either watching on the casual side, kibitzin, or actually playing at a table because you will not receive an invitation because the host who is on the competitive side will not be able to see you. I hope that 
clarifies things. There's more information on the BBO news. Um, but the subtle thing is there are now two sides. And I would like to emphasize that this this is an improvement for BBO. It has really reduced the numbers of people on the main server, especially at prime time, making it easier for us all to play. It does have a few of these side effects that will take a little while to get used to, but it's something I completely approve of. If you're using an old client, like the old Flash client or the old original Windows client, then none of this works. You cannot get to the casual side. You cannot play with your friends at a, a normal table. You can compete in tournaments. You can compete in team matches. But unless you upgrade, you've been cut off from playing normal matches. The BBO Android app has been updated and either the iPad app has been updated or is about to be. Enjoy.